I um, moved here from Joplin to the Tulsa area three years ago in, um, after our home was destroyed in the, in the tornado that devastated our town. Before the tornado, our life was pretty busy. We had three girls at home. One, our son was in college. And it was a normal life. My husband worked, he was a surgical oncologist at Mercy Hospital. It was a good life. And there was some talk of some bad weather. And I remember that the sirens went off. Um, and I walk, we walked downstairs and I had a flashlight in my hand and I handed it to my husband and said, you're going to need this. And he stood up and was saying, no, we're fine when all of a sudden the lights from the ceiling exploded out of the ceiling. And he looked behind me out the window and said, run. And we ran to the safe room. And five seconds later, our home was completely destroyed. We were sitting there and you could feel the, the air pressure change. Our ears were popping. Um, and we heard some crashes. And I thought, I thought to myself, oh, there's some damage upstairs. Um, and we waited it, and then the second round came, you know, it swung around, and after it was over, I said, I was the only one with shoes on, and I looked at my kids and my husband, and I said, um, I'm going to go out and get shoes for everybody, because we need, sh you guys need shoes, and so I walked out, and when I walked out, there was literally, it was just, wide open. My house was gone. But I had my family. Um, but that, that, so the material things at that point really meant nothing. There were 163 deaths. Um, my daughter lost some friends. We, um, one of her friends was found right across the street from our house and that's been very difficult for her. My husband lost patience. There wasn't a person that we knew of that didn't lose a family member or a home or a business, weren't affected in some way. Um, and that was, that was heart, heart wrenching to watch, you know, every, everyone around you is just suffering. Um, but there, you know, what was so amazing is that Literally overnight, the world just showed up. The Red Cross showed up. Well, everyone in town had to go to the post office and get a mailbox. And we were standing in line for hours. It was so hot, and there were still threats of tornadoes. Um, and my kids, my little babies, were having a complete meltdown. I mean, they were just, they'd lost everything. And they had every right to be mad, and they were furious, and they didn't understand what was happening. This wonderful man from the Red Cross, he was in a truck, and he handed them um, a bottle of water. And that sounds like it's not that big of a deal, but it was the grandest gesture of, at the time. Oh gosh, there's so many acts of, of humanity and just kindness. 40 trees in our yard, and they showed up 18 guys with chainsaws who I didn't know and started, you know, cutting them down so we could get to stuff and get, do what we were needing to do. I mean, people just showed up, and it was that kindness that kept us going. And because we didn't know if anyone knew what was going on. And then just to have all of this, you know, attention and, and support and help. It was uh, so powerful. But it was the kindness of the people that made me cry. I mean, somebody brought my kids uh, some clean clothes. They didn't have any clothes. And the clothes they had were covered in, you know, dirt and uh, insulation. And, the, you know, they just, they brought toothbrushes. And so um, to see you know, yourself in a situation that you didn't anticipate of such need, it was overwhelming. And that did, that did, that did break me down. That did break me down because I can never repay, I don't know their names, I can never repay those people and, or say thank you. Um, and, you know, moving here to Tulsa, 
it was very important to me to get involved and pay that forward and, and do something. Um, and so that's, you know, I became involved in the Red Cross and I started helping out, you know, with their rescue gala and, and that helps raise funds for, for, you know, victims of fire, of, of tornadoes, of every, dis every type of disaster. I pray that we don't experience another disaster, you know, like that. But you never know. And, you know, it's so important to support the Red Cross and organizations such as that because they need the money to help these families. I mean, these are people who have nothing.